In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a social media icon to your WordPress menu. Let's do this. Hey, it's Ozzy here from thecallmehost.com, where I talk about the tools I'm using to generate income online as a solopreneur. In this channel, I share tutorials as well as all the great tools that I find. So if this helps you in any way, please subscribe and I'll keep you posted. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to add a social media icon to WordPress. In this case, I'm going to use the WordPress menu. I'm also going to show you two more things. I'm going to show you a great resource where you can get icons. That's the one I'm going to use to get the social media icon. And I'm also going to show you another graphic resource that I use very often where there are millions of graphics, including icons, just in case you can't find the right icon in the first resource. Now, there is an old video in this channel where I show you how to add icons to WordPress, but I wanted to do a new revised edition because that video is about three and a half years old and the icon resource that I use in that video has changed significantly, as has WordPress, okay? And one last thing I want to mention is that today I'm wearing a beige jumper and I know that there's a white backdrop behind me, so my arms are pretty much invisible. That's professionalism. Okay, so let's do this. Now, the first thing we need is a website. So I'm going to be using my blog. This is not the live blog. This is a copy of the blog that I've taken. And the second thing we need is the social media icon. So enter the great resource that I mentioned. The great resource is called Font Awesome. FontAwesome.com, in fact. And it's a really cool resource. Now, let me show you how this works. Now, these guys have been around for some time and I just love the website and what they do. Now, if they do need social proof to convince you, then check out the footer where you'll see some of the companies that have used them. That includes Amazon WS, T-Mobile, the Beatles. Now that had me scratching my head, unless the remaining Beatles are freelancing as web designers. But I figured that this is the actual website, the people who built the website for them uh, and Yale and so on. Okay, so the cool thing is that Font Awesome use vector icons. So that's super cool. Now you'll notice that they do have plans. They do have a pro plan, but I've always used the free plan for years now and I've got by fine. You still get access on the free plan to thousands of icons. In fact, 1,557 icons. But with the pro version, you get access to 7,722 icons. Those are very precise numbers, by the way. Now, let's say you're building a new blog for yourself and you just want the best icons or you're building a new website for a client and you need these pro icons. You could always sign up for the pro plan, use the icons. And when you're done, you can cancel your subscription. So perhaps you only need it for one month. OK, if you look at the plans, if I remember, they're not too expensive anyway. There you go, $99 a year which is not bad at all. But as I say, I've always used the free plan and it's been fine for me. So let's use the navigation menu and go to icons. And let's go get ourselves an icon to insert to our WordPress menu. Okay, so let this load. And you can see some icons here already and you can see how really good they look. Now the pro ones are obviously grayed out. Okay, so you got a search box here and you also notice that on the left hand side you have all these filters and this is a really cool feature. For example, if you want business icons, you can click on the link and that has filtered out all the icons and left us with 456 business related icons. OK, now here you can also see that you have different styles in these filters so you can select solid. These are all the solid icons, OK, or you can select regular instead and take solid out. You see all the regular ones. Let's go for light and remove regular. And these look like they're all the pro versions. If you hover your cursor over any of these grayed out icons, you'll notice that the word pro appears. OK, so let's get rid of that filter and let's go for duotone. OK, so these are also pro icons. Let's click on brands and untick duotone. So there's nothing there on the brands. So let's go for solid. OK, and in fact, let's try a different search. Let's filter animal icons and take business out. And now we have animals here. OK, 
and we're also filtering solid icons okay so you can see how cool this is so let's untick animals and let's look for social media because that's exactly what we wanted in fact let's not use the filters for now let's just start by using the search box so let's say that we want to add a twitter icon to our wordpress menu so let's type twitter and you can see that we have three icons available to us that are free now to be honest the first two are perfectly fine okay so let's click on the first one that's the one that i want to use okay so this is actually the icon editor now if you log in if you create a free account i think you have more access to this editor so for the sake of speed i'm just going to use this icon as is okay so you select the icon that you want you click on start using this icon and here you can see that you have a code okay so this highlighted code here i'm just going to click on this icon to copy this to my clipboard now underneath that you'll see that you have the font awesome pro benefits and they include more icons solid regular and light styles for each icon plus brands etc if you did need that kind of thing this is where you get it however all we want is the icon so i'm just going to copy that to the clipboard which i have done already now back in my blog i'm going to go to the admin screen and here i'm going to go to appearance and menu let's load up the menu and here i'm going to create a custom link now in the link text i'm going to paste the code that i copied in font awesome that's the code to that icon okay and now we need a url so let's say for example that i'm going to point this to twitter.com obviously you would point this to your own twitter account if you were using a twitter icon so let's add this to the menu let's save the menu and let's refresh the page and see what we have very cool you can see here at the end of my menu bar that i now have a social media icon i have the twitter icon that i used that looks quite nice now if we click on this watch what happens this takes us to twitter.com of course which is what we want however it's loading this in the same page in other words it's replaced my blog and it's taken me to twitter which is not what we want to do so let's go back and fix that let's go back into the menu under appearance and what we want to do here is at the very top you'll see this thing called screen options it's not very intuitive but that's what it is so you click on that and you make sure that you have link target selected now when you go down here to your menu open up your custom link the one that we just added and you'll see a checkbox appear called open link in a new tab we want to tick that and then we want to save the menu and that's going to fix that problem for us so if we go back to the home page and refresh that now if we click on our social media icon this takes us to twitter but it opens it up in a new tab perfect okay so now point three i'm going to show you the other resource that i use very often where you can find millions of graphic icons of graphic images and they're fantastic and the resource is called icon finder which is absolutely brilliant now you need to be mindful of one thing in icon finder and i'll talk about that in a moment but let me just quickly do a search for twitter okay so let's do a search in icon finder and look at all these icons as you can see you have a lot more variety there are 2177 icons found just for the search twitter so the thing to be mindful of is the licensing so here on the left hand side you'll see this navigation menu with a lot of filters like we have in font awesome and you also have licensing types you have for example free icons and you have freemium icons now some of the free icons also need a link attribution they don't all need that though and i do have a video that you can see on your screen right now where i walk you through icon finder how to use it and how to find those great icons so click it and i'll see you there